Hello everybody, this is Awesome House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Potionomics. In the previous episode, we socialized with our funds. Our friends for the sake of, you know, fun. And for getting coupons for discounts on their surface uh, services. Now, in between episodes, I went ahead and took care of all the gardening. I've already got them set up to give me more tomorrow. And I've also gotten our potion brew set up. Going to be, first of all, brewing up some more mana potions using three weeping metal ores, two banshees' bloody tongues, a salamander's fiery tongue, a sack of slime, and a rotfly larva. Next up, we got a couple of grand health, or superior, I should say, health potions. That'll be... You... <clears throat> That'll be using five scimitar crab shells, a slapping turtle shell, a selky lice, and a fairy flower bud in both of them. And lastly, we'll be brewing up some grand stamina potions. Unfortunately, it's only going to be a grand five star, unless we get lucky with a perfect brew to, per <clears throat> to push it up to superior. Could happen. Which will get, which are made with three creeping mildew, four sea salt, and one rock salt. And now, it's time to get to selling. Let's open up the shop. I should go after after this, but I'm too wired. I want to spend some money if that's alright with you. Gotta be ready for what tomorrow brings. Uh, no. You know, I don't think I've ever even made a shadow tonic. I didn't anticipate that. Oh well. This looks pretty great if the price is right. Ugh. I gotta try and keep my stress under 10. Just so that I can, uh get rid of it all, so I no longer have these card draws at 8%. Alright, Ferocity of the Squirrel. Jingle. Chorus. Wait. Voice is symphonic and so is this tonic. This is a potion. Alright, and turn... Uh, unfortunately, their patience is rather low. So we do need to be careful. Build rapport. I could get sympathy for a little extra, but I don't really have much else. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and decrease my stress. And close the deal. Still a nice grand that we're getting out of it, so, eh, ain't gonna complain. Okay, let's get bravado going. Scheme. Press the attack. Blech. Can't use tension. Or can't use deep connection because of tension. Yeah, this is a good deck, but it kind of requires a lot of low... Requires being low stress. And turn. Ugh, ten stress out of that. Come on. Alright, chorus. Chorus. I'm not going to get anything more out of them. No point in using the scheme. Close the deal. Yeah, yeah. No time for pleasantries. Uh, no. Uh, 
He's not doing anything to raise my stress. So, Captivate to get some more uh, patience out of him, and Chorus. Damn you, Doubt. Press the attack. Ugh. Is it even worth it? Especially with the stress he's going to be giving me. I think we close the deal now. Hey, Zid. Cue my entrance music. Potion's got real stage presence. Alright, captivate. Jingle for next turn. End turn. Oof, 13 shields. All right, press the attack. Damn you. Let's see, she's not doing anything to cause me stress, so fine. Meditate, I'll just take that immediately. Bravado would have been a lot more useful earlier, but so be it. Guided thought, get a little more stress gone, close the deal. This is the problem with selling as many cards as I- or many potions as I am. Good chance of getting higher stress. Okay, Guided Thought. To at least cancel out the doubt. And Chorus. Alright, Captivate. Captivate. Jingle. Uh, but he is causing stress. Do I close the deal now for a lower price and not risk the stress? Yes. Okay, at least I'll be down to 3% come the morning. Yes, we operated at a loss today, but it'll be more than enough to gold to get us through. Alright, three more days until the competition. I hope Oswald is okay, but I also hope he feels super guilty. How's it hanging, chum? Feel like tapping out at any point? You just let me know. You for real? This isn't a wrestling match we're talking about, it's my career. So you're ever expecting me to just quit? You're deluding yourself. Boshing those teas of yours again, eh? You want- you talk to all your customers that way? I'm pretty sure you have to buy something to be considered a customer. You know, I'd almost be willing to buy a stamina potion off of you. But that would be an illegal transaction. And I know a promising young potion maker like yourself wouldn't want to show such disrespect to the law. Or to me. Don't tell me you're still patent trolling, and you're actually bragging about it. I guess you can't beat me without resorting to dirty tricks. It's an unconventional strategy, sure. I call that thinking outside the tank. I call it unethical, and possibly illegal. Whoa, whoa, watch the slander, chum. Have I broken any laws here? I don't actually know the answer to that, but I've got some really good lawyers on retainer. The kind of guys who just love to drag out the proceedings. You got money to burn on that sort of thing? Go ahead and burn it. Maybe I can't take you to court, but I'm going to fight this Finn, however I can. Hey, I don't expect anything less from you, chum, and I wouldn't want this to be too easy. It's a real bad habit of mine, I know, but I've always liked to play with my food. Ugh, Boss Finn's mercenary methods. Osfin has sunk to new depths, forbidding the sale of cures and rafta. 
by anyone other than himself. Yikes. Alright, alright. Fine. I do have a bunch of speed potions left over. Honestly, I don't think I really need that many. Huh? Oh, right. I can't sell the cures. But... That doesn't mean I can't use them. Now, that being said, do I really want to hold on to all these speed potions? I mean, I can only really use two at a time. You know, for various reasons. I think I'm going to toss some of them in the... Let's see, 618, 695. I think I'm going to toss... I'm going to put one on here and toss three of them in the vending machine to sell while I'm out. Anyway, speaking of potions, let's grab up all the ones we need and get started on brewing up a whole lot of mana potions to sell off later. Ain't a whole lot of value, mind you, but it's fine. Come on, perfect brew. Bingo! It gets us a superior stamina potion, which, you know, is obviously much more effective. Retrieve ten additional pieces of loot. Yay! Now then, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take care of all of my business off screen. I'm gonna take care of setting up the potions to brew. I will show that briefly. And I'm also going to take care of, you know, the usual businessy stuff, except for, well, I should at least show you what ingredients I get. But beyond that gift giving and all that, I'm going to take care of it off screen. I am, as usual, going to be sending uh, Corsac to the Sulfuric Falls. Uh, let's see. Zid to the Ice Crag and Mint to the Crystalline Forest. But, I will take care of all that off-camera. Okay then, before we take off to take care of business... First Cauldron and the Second Cauldron are brewed up with one Silver Stag Antler, three Griffin's Whetstone Diamonds, two Banshee's Bloody Tongue, a Rockfly Matriarch, and a Dream da uh, Daydream Palm. Third one, more Minor Potions. Silver Stag Antler, three Griffin's Whetstone Diamond, a Spriggan Antler, two Banshee's Bloody Tongue, and a Salamander's Fiery Tongue. And the last one is some more Grand Stamina Potions, which are probably going to stay Grand Stamina Potions unless I get lucky again, with three Creeping Mildew, four Sea Salt, and one Rock Salt. Now then, I'll probably pop in to show you what ingredients I've gotten from my adventures and from my investments as well as the loot boxes but beyond that you're not going to see me until i finish my business with everyone okay from zid i got four crag crabs four rock salt four harpies heart of stone three griffin's whetstone diamonds and four avalanche crickets which are actually rather useless to me but whatever oh i also got turquoise wood wall Okay, from Mint, I got three Embers of Mana, an o two Ogre's Shadow, three Gin Blossoms, two Daredevil Peppers, and a bunch of Prismatic Timber. Not bad. From Baptiste, four more Griffin's Whetstone Diamonds, and a Super Nailite. As for investment, some Phoenix Tear, huh? Might not be a bad idea. Let's get four Chimera away so we can get the rare ingredient from the Crystalline Forest and... Oof. Oof. Phoenix Tears have been useful in one or two potions, so it might not be a bad idea. And I'll get some Silver Stag Antlers. Actually, nah, let's not go for the Disruption. I'm already spending too much. Okay. Salt and pepper for our large loot crate. Hey, 
And from then we get three Reef Radish, two Nagas Fang, two Delirium Shroom, two Rock Salt, three Antler Jelly, two Embers of Mana, and three Static Spiderlings. Okay, now I will be back once we have concluded our business. Okay then, business is concluded. Uh, from Saffron Shop, I did buy the expansion for some aging barrels because, if I recall correctly, and I probably don't knowing me, that does unlock another brewing stand in the basement for us to purchase. Unfortunately, no vines yet, so I can't upgrade my potion shelves yet, but that might change. Uh, I also decided to send Mint off to the Sulfuric Falls. She can't beat it, but I, she also can't beat the Crystalline Forest because I didn't make any Silence Cures. Oops. Anyways, as for our rank ups, I think I'm gonna do Quinn so I can get their next coupon. Mint because I've been neglecting them a bit. And I think I'm gonna do Roxanne for the same reason as Mint. I was actually going to ask you to hang out. Were you now? What have you got planned, Quinn? When I get out of here, let's do something. I don't know. It seems like every time you suggest an outing, I end up fleeing for my life. You're obviously good at fleeing. Things are, as you're still alive and all. Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm probably safer with you than I am anywhere else. Oh yeah, how do you figure? You rely on my business. There's no way you'd risk taking such a big financial hit. You've got me figured out. And if you know me so well, you know... So well, you know I'll get you to accept my invitation eventually. I can already see your interest in hanging... Interested in hanging out, and I'm an expert when it comes to compounding interest. Compound interest. Apply compound interest for four turns. Raises interest by four at the start of customer's term. Value doubles every turn. Interesting. Also, I think I might have been mistaken. I believe it's actually rank seven that the romance might start happening. I don't know. I'm about to find out. I believe so. Let me take a look. I don't know, we'll find out. It's true, you know your stuff. Now I know it too. Great, awesome. So can we go now? Aw, oh, stop dragging your broom. See, this isn't terrible. Just you and me. And a bunch of monsters waiting in the wings. Alright, I'm just gonna say this. Every time I have one of my visions lately, it's the same thing over and over. I keep seeing you, Sylvia. It's just your... dumb... face. I mean, dumb in a nice way. Ugh. What are you saying, Quinn? What does that mean? Oh no, am I going to die? I'm dying, aren't I? It means you wormed your way into my cold little heart, Sylvia. It means... and I can't believe I'm saying this... You're... like... my friend, or whatever. Wow, that sounds ridiculous out loud. It sounds like a trap. What a brilliant thing to say. If you're secretly planning to kill me in my sleep... Dang it, you figured it out. I guess I'll be sleeping with one eye open. Truth is, I'm glad we're friends, Quinn. I'm glad you said it out loud. Out loud, even if it's just this once. You're a weird kid, Sylvia. That's about as high a compliment as I can give. I'll take it! Right. Cool. Anyway, I guess it's time to get back to work. But it's nice out here, or whatever. Guess we can hang out a little longer if you want. Hmm, we could rank up again, but no, I'm gonna go hit up Corsac, see what ingredients we got. And then I'm gonna go see Mint for the same reason, and for a hangout. Then that monster right over the waterfall. Let's see, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Eh, can't use that. Creeping Mildew's always good. Let's see... Let's see... see... Cre creeping Mildew. Oh, I forgot to buy some of that. Nah, no, that's fine. Scimitar Crab Shell. 
I already got plenty of those, but given how much I use them up, never a bad idea. Naga Fangs. Mm -mm -mm. And there we are. Also got something new, Rotter Melon. Decent potion ingredient, but terribly unpopular at picnics. Oh, gee, I can't imagine why with the word rot in the name. Well, rotter. Let's see. I also got to remember to bring these because I re realized that I forgot to give the daydream palm to Quinn. Whoops. Anyways, R, R. Here we are, rotter melon. And some shelled pudding. All right, Mint, let's see what you got. Okay, then. More rotter melons, not bad. More scimitar crab shells. Some Rotfly Matriarchs. Acid Rutabagas, which are new. And some Weeping Metal Ore. Also some members of Mana, but that doesn't really matter at the moment given how I'm gardening them. Anyways, let's rank up Mint. Happy to spend time with you. It's time to do our civic duty, Sylvia. It's a good thing you're wearing gloves. Armed with rags and a bucket of liquid that sizzles in royals, Mint leads Sylvia into the heart of Rapta. Pause at the first shop they see. While Sylvia holds the bucket, Mint dips a rag in the liquid and uses it to wipe down the door handle. Nothing can withstand the caustic saliva of a mustachioed lizard including nasty little microbes. Does that also include this bucket? Because I think it's starting to smoke. Whoops, we'd better hurry and hit as many spots as we can. Due to our word, Mint speeds through the streets, sterilizing as many door handles as possible. When the sizzling saliva eats a hole in the bottom of the bucket, narrowly missing Sylvia's boots, they call it a day. Phew, it feels so good to do something normal. Well, normal for me. The hunt for a legendary weapon has been eventful, but exhausting. What's the latest? I've been keeping the ear out for rumors, and I finally heard a promising one about a masterwork sword hidden in the heart of the forest. I tried to get a party together, but my guild mates are super aware of that part of the forest, on account of the endless, eerie fog. So I spent hours wandering around alone in the mist. I'm sure I was walking in circles at one point, but I didn't give up. I have the blisters to prove it. Did you ever find the sword? Yeah, but it was totally rusted. I guess if you're ever looking to stash a blade away for a generation or two, you shouldn't leave it in a damp, mist-shrouded forest. At least I got my steps for the day. Hm, I thought your glutes looked nice. Must have been all the walking. Well, then, I guess I won't complain. But to be honest, I hope I get my hands on something soon. I'm starting to have visions of myself as a washed-up wannabe. If I'm not careful, I could end up like my very first hero I ever met. Tell me more. First encounter with a hero didn't go well, I take it? Heh, <laughs> not for him. It was less than a year ago. I started working shifts in the family warehouse. My dad's run a regional distribution hub. Imports, exports, mostly catnip. Wow, catnip is big business, isn't it? Oh yeah, cat pirates buy in bulk. According to the stories, they used to sail up and down the coast setting fires and causing mayhem. Regular, dependable access to catnip keeps everyone happy and at peace, which is why it was cause for concern. When Amanda came to our door and claimed our catnip storage facility had been infested by slimes, he pointed out the telltale trails of ghoul all along the perimeter of the building. My dads were pretty panicked about it. This guy, he was a licensed hero, he said. A freelance troubleshooter, looking for work. My dads were only too happy to pay him for the slimes. As for me, well, you can possibly imagine how excited I was. I followed him everywhere, hounding him with questions, watching him like a three-eyed ferret. That's how I discovered it was all a scam. The only slimes in our warehouse were the ones he set loose there. Oof, what a creep. You must have been so disappointed. When in fact, I was furious, Sylvia. Really mad. I chased him off her property with a plus one stapler. 
Then, without even stopping to think about it, I vanquished the slimes he'd left behind. My first battle, and they were defeated handily. After that, I felt this... this surge of confidence and clarity. I knew I owed it to myself to give my childhood dream a shot, so I started looking for opportunities to make a move. When Raptor's Guild put out the call for recruits, I knew I'd found the opportunity I was looking for. And unlike that phony hero, you've been doing an incredible job. <laughs> Thanks, but let's be real. I can always do better. That's what my quest is all about, getting the power to level up. Then again, they say power corrupts. What if I get my hands on a powerful weapon, and it changes me? What if I go all... Dark Mint Destroyer of Worlds? I'll keep you in check. I promise, even if I must strike you down in order to save you. I believe you could do it too, Sylvia. Okay, with you in my corner, I suppose I don't have to worry so much. So, you'll keep looking for a weapon? Yeah, I'm no quitter. And sometimes it's not until your back's against the wall that you see what you're really capable of. That's when you break out the Blitz, you know what I mean? Blitz. Rise Interest by 14 can only be played if you have three or fewer cards in your hand. You know I do. Good. I'll keep you posted on my quest, and don't worry. I'm sure I'll have good news soon. Okay, one more hangout, and I think that's gonna be with Roxanne. As you wish. Business is booming, Sylvia. So much so that this little supply run has proven necessary. I'm perilously low on gemstones, so keep an eye out for all that glitters. Roxanne's approach is a vendor stall that has cheap jewelry laid out on display. Merchant seems way of Roxanne, he watches her closely, following her around the stall. Sylvia gets the impression that word is spread about Roxanne's potions con. She's not especially welcome in the marketplace. Roxanne, however, keeps her cool. She giggles and blushes and touches the merchant's arm lightly. A minute later, she's made a purchase. The merchant waves warmly after her as she exits the stall. There. Success. I should have everything I need. Even threw in a free pair of earrings. I'll have to remove the casing, but the stones will be of use. Why did you do that? You warmed faster than ramen on a fire room. I only turned on the charm a little, batted my lashes, laughed at his jokes. It works every time, whether you're buying or selling. Disarm. Remove customer's shield. Not bad. Okay, I'm not above trying that. And hey, speaking of flattery, I gotta say... I'm impressed. You're doing good work, Roxanne. I'm glad it's paying off. Yes, I've made strides in a short time, and think I've done it all on my own. Well, I'm sort of helping. Right? I mean, I'm not charging you rent or anything. Brava, Sylvia. I like a woman who seeks credit where credit is due. As for allowing me to stay in your cramped roach den after you dismantled my livelihood, well, I'm sure your medal is in the mail. Fair enough. So what's next for you? You've got to seize on your momentum, right? Have you thought about advertising? Oh no, I'm afraid that would be a grave mistake. This little oper operation of mine isn't entirely legal, after all. Wait, what? Roxanne, you told me you were going legit. I told you I was making use of my legitimate talents, and that's true. This town and all its rules, it's positively tedious to do anything by the book. It's no wonder I became a con artist, and you know, I've run some pretty marvelous rackets over the years. Potions con wasn't your first? Far from it. I cut my teeth several years ago on a pyramid scheme. A literal pyramid scheme, mind you. We claimed to be erecting one in the heart of the capital city. Investors were lining up. When that rocket got too hot, I set up another in another town and read fortunes for a while. I traced the lines of my clients' palms, pouring honey in their ears, while helping myself to the contents of their pockets. I'm quite dexterous with the tale, you know. By the time anyone caught on, I'd moved on to card games, counterfeiting. Even a bit of light blackmail to keep things interesting. I'm going to have a heart attack. You're... you're some kind of criminal mastermind. Why, thank you. But I'm telling you, Sylvia, I've reformed. I'm barely doing anything wrong this time. However, to operate a business in this town, you're required to secure a business license. I know all about it. It's not really such a hassle. Easy for you to say you were able to take the shortcut. Anyone with a degree from an accredited college is automatically issued a license to operate a business here. It's all part of some initiative to attract so-called talented people to Rafta. 
Everyone knows you recently obtained your degree. You tend to bring it up every five minutes. I'm not sure that's true. Whereas I never had that particular opportunity. All right, so the shortcut isn't an option for you. What's the normal procedure like? Well, I'd have to pay a fee, submit some paperwork, and pass an exam of some sort. Is that all? That doesn't sound so bad. Are you certain? It all sounds perfectly tedious to me. Anyway, what's the point? If I get caught cutting corners, I'll just move on to the next racket. I don't want you to leave. Roxanne, I'm beginning to enjoy your company. I knew you'd get attached, but so quickly? You have a point, though. It would be interesting to see what might develop in my life if I weren't forced to pull up stakes and move on every few months. All right, I'll do it. I'll get my license, and I'll look good doing it. I should probably warn you. Nobody looks good in their license photo. Nonsense. The trick is to elongate your neck, smile with your eyes, and threaten the photographer with bodily harm. Yikes. Alright, well, before I forget again, because I missed out on those daydream palms because of it, oof, I am going to expand with the acid rutabaga and the rotter melon. Plus, I should probably also buy up some creeping mildew, because I forgot to do that. Whoops. Should be in Sulfuric Falls section. Yep. I can only get four of them, though. Alrighty then. Well, with that, it's about time to head back to the shop. Because I'm out of time for this episode, and I have to do a fair amount of editing for it. Oh, well. I remember to set these things to brewing, right? Okay, good, I did. Uh, did I get a... Shoot, did I get any vines? I mean, if I did and then I forgot to set things up, oh, well. Eh, uh, no, no vines still. So I wouldn't have been able to upgrade them anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna bottle those up off camera, set up my shelves, etc, etc. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, but I did buy an Insight Enhancer uh, campaign from Luna, so there's also that. But anyways, with that, I'm gonna end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.